towering above you and all the flames and the smoke. A billowing smoke everywhere, right? Old converted. Of course, the rocket people made us made us stand miles away. This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. The English we speak from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello, I'm Fei Fei, and this is the English we speak. And hello, it's Rob here. Good weekend, Fei Fei. Amazing. The weather was great, so I went on a trip to the seaside. And you were going camping, weren't you? I was, but it turned out to be a bit of a wet weekend. Oh no! You mean it rained? That's unlucky. The sun was out all weekend here. Oh well, the weather was fine, but I didn't go. The car broke down again, so I stayed at home doing DIY all weekend. Boring. So a wet weekend doesn't have to involve rain. Nope. A wet weekend means a boring and disappointing time. And it doesn't have to be at the weekend either. Correct. This phrase just means the situation is boring, just like a wet weekend is. You can also use the expression to describe boring people. Here are some examples. That was a wet weekend. My friends were coming to stay, but cancelled at the last minute. My cousin's a bit of a wet weekend. He's got no personality and nothing to say. I had to do my accounts yesterday. It was like a wet weekend in a paint factory. <laughs> So a wet weekend describes a boring or disappointing experience or person. Well, I'm glad to say that you are not a wet weekend, Rob. I like your sense of adventure. So when are you going camping again? Next weekend. Oh really? Have you seen the weather forecast? No. Rain all weekend. <sighs> oh, what's wrong? You have a face like a wet weekend. A face like a wet weekend? You mean I look unhappy? Well, I'm not. If it rains, I'm coming round to yours for dinner. Oh no! Bye. Bye. The English we speak from the BBC.